Hey everyone, does your download folder look like this? Such a mess, right? Let's go ahead and fix this once and for all. We are going to clean this up and make it look like this. Let's go to our code editor and start writing a code. First thing we will do is import OS and path from pathly module. Next, we will define kind of folder structure for our file. In our case, we will define folder structure using dictionary. So let's define file types dictionary and inside this dictionary, we will add folder name as a key and all of applicable file types inside a list. And that list is going to be a value for our key. So here images is a key. We will use that as a folder name and then we will add different image format inside a list and assign it as a value for images key. Similarly, we will add key value pair for audio files and repeat same process for video and document. All right, this looks good. And here I'm only categorizing most common file types, but by all means, you can add more file formats and even change folder structure. All you need to do is add folder name as a key and a list of file format as a value. For example, let's say you want to add file ending with .xyz format in images folder. All you need to do is add .xyz in a value list for images. So let me remove this since I don't have any XYZ file format. Now we'll normalize our data by adding individual file format and a folder pair in a new dictionary. So to do that we will first create a blank dictionary and then iterate over each key value pair in our file types dictionary. Since values are inside a list we will add another loop to get individual file format and finally add that file format as a key and a folder name as a value inside our new dictionary. Let me add a print statement for our new dictionary and run our code. As you can see, file format stored as a key and a folder name stored as a value. Now we will define file organizer function and iterate over all of the files using os.scandir method and then check if given entry in a loop is a directory or a file. If it is directory, then we will simply skip it. If it's a file, we will get the file path from the current entry using the path module. And then we will get a file format of the current entry by using dot suffix method and apply dot lower method to ensure all of our file formats are consistent. Now we will check whether file format for our current entry exists in our normalized dictionary. In that case, we will create directory path for the current entry. And now we will check whether our newly created dictionary name and path access. If not, then we will create a new one. Providing exist OK to true will always ensure to create a new dictionary if it doesn't exist. And finally, we will move our file at the current entry to newly created directory path using a rename method. This condition will handle all of the files that are covered in our file tabs dictionary. However, there might be instances where we may have files with additional formats and we will handle that via else statement. So inside our else block, we will first define a path for folder name others. You can name this folder as you wish. And then we will check if the given folder path exists. If it doesn't exist, then we will create a new one. And finally, move the files to other folders using the rename method. This is all of the required code. So now we will add if name equal to main condition and under that run our function. All right, let me go back to folder and you can see all of our files are still in a random order. Let me go back to code editor and run our code. No error. So let's go back to our folder and you can see all of the files are gone and new folders are added per our given structure. Now if I open audio folder, you can see we have all of audio files. If I go to documents folder, we have all of our document inside it. All pictures are inside images folder. And inside other folders, we have all of the random files that were not covered in the previous folder. So this is how you can automatically categorize files into folder using Python. Smash a like button if this helped you in any way. And don't forget to subscribe.